Why are GPU prices so bad? I mean, legitimately, why are they so bad? What is the actual reason why? We've all complained that the prices are bad, and we all know that. The GPU prices are terrible, but why? I get a lot of comments where people say Nvidia is greedy, and I'm not here to dispute that, and I'm not here to say that, that they're not greedy. In fact, I'll double down on it. I agree with you. Yes, Nvidia is greedy, but I think there's more to the problem than just Nvidia is greedy. I wanna make this abundantly clear. I don't have any type of insider information. I don't work for AMD. I don't work for Nvidia. I'm not all knowing. I, I don't have all the answers. I really don't. But I do think there is more to the story than just Nvidia being greedy, and I wanna share that information with you. I'm also hoping this video can serve as a two-way street. You share information with me, and I share information with you down in the comment section below. And who knows, maybe, hopefully, we can try and make some type of sense out of this terrible chaos of a mess we have with graphics cards. Well, if you've been in the GPU market for a while or the PC market for a while, then it's no secret. You used to be able to buy a top of the line graphics card for six or $700. And now the best graphics card out there, the 4090, starts off at $1,600 and it only goes up from there. And that's if you're in America. If you're in another country like Australia, you have it even worse than that. Something has definitely changed. You see, yes, Nvidia is greedy, but they've always been that way. Why? Because they are a for-profit company. They are here to make money. They're not a charity. They're not a non-profit or anything like that. They're here to make money. They've always been that way. And guess what? AMD is the exact same way. Intel is the exact same way. Microsoft, Sony, Amazon, all of these companies are here to make money. They are here to be profitable. No matter how much money these companies make, they will always want more. Some of these companies are still offering products at a really good price and therefore giving you the consumer good value. Xbox Game Pass comes to mind when I think about that. AMD and Intel and their CPUs, those come to mind when I think about that statement. And so it is possible to be a for-profit company that continuously looks to improve your company's revenue streams and profits at the end of the year and still give the consumer a good product at a good price. And so that is why I think there is more to the story than simply thinking Jensen just wanted another jacket. I wish it was that simple because you just fire them and get a new CEO and that problem goes away. But unfortunately, that is not the case here. There's more to talk about. So let's talk about it. And that is the simple fact that Nvidia built way too many 30 series cards. That is not my opinion. That is a fact because it is coming directly from Jensen himself. Back in an interview that he did in August of 2022, he confirmed they built way too many GPUs. And obviously he's referring to the 30 series cards at that point in time. And now I want you to think about the problem that created for Nvidia. You have your brand new 40 series cards coming out on the market and they're better in every way when compared to the 30 series cards. Yet, you have an overabundance of 30 series inventory just sitting there, burning a hole in your pocket and you have to answer for that cost. You have to make your money back somehow. How in the world do you take your two year old product and make it look attractive when you have your brand new product sitting on the shelf right next to it. Really what you got was a bunch of 30 series cards that are two years old selling at their MSRP after two years. And then Nvidia just jacked up the pricing of the 40 series cards to make them look completely unattainable. And now you have a win-win situation for Nvidia. Think about it. If you buy a 40 series card, you're lining their pockets all the way to the bank. And if you buy a 30 series card, you're still giving them money, but you're doing really what they want. And that is getting rid of the 30 series cards that are two years old, over two years old now, and that no one really wants anymore. Go back and listen to the 4080 announcement. Go back and listen to the 4090 announcement. In both videos, Nvidia still talked about the 30 series cards. They were still promoting the 30 series cards. Nvidia even said the 30 series cards were the best cards for gamers. They want you to buy the 30 series inventory. Nvidia has two years or a little more to make back all of their money on the 40 series cards that they are currently manufacturing. However, the lifespan of the 30 series cards are over and they are sitting on a pile of cards. They want you to get rid of them. And so what better way to make these cards look appealing than by making the 40 series cards look completely unappealing. And honestly, this is something that no one wants to hear, but it is the cold hard truth. We as a collective, as a PC community, told Nvidia it was okay to make a 4080 $1,200, to sell us graphics cards that are well over a thousand dollars. We told them that when during the GPU shortage, during the pandemic, 
3080s regularly were bought and sold for $1,200. Even Micro Center was selling 3080s for close to $1,200. Newegg was definitely doing it. Amazon was doing it. They were all over Facebook Marketplace for this exact same price. And obviously, of course, eBay. They saw, oh wow, desperate times call for desperate measures. People are willing to pay this for an 80 series card. So what did they do? They made a 3080 Ti, which was marginally different than a 3080, and then they sold it for $1,200. And Gamers Nexus himself even covered it and called Nvidia out for it and said, oh, Nvidia realizes that people are paying $1,200 for a 3080. So now what are they doing? They're selling a 3080 Ti for $1,200. Why would Nvidia give a scalper that money when they themselves can make that money for themselves? Now we have a 4080 for $1,200. Can anyone really say they're surprised? If you really think about it, I don't agree with it. I'm not okay with it, but can you really say you're surprised? And lastly, we have to talk about competition or a lack thereof. AMD has failed to be an adequate competitor for NVIDIA. NVIDIA has no direct adequate competition. That's not me taking a shot at AMD, it is the fact of the situation. If you look at the market share, NVIDIA has the overwhelming majority of the market. And there's a reason for that. First and foremost, the 4090 is completely unchecked. AMD didn't even try to compete with it. They announced the 7900 XTX and everyone was hoping it would be a 4090 competitor. And then they confirmed, no, actually it's a 4080 competitor. And so Nvidia just has the 4090 out there with no direct competition at all. And so people can buy it and scalp it all they want. And in fact, that's what they've been doing. Up until about a week ago, the 4090 in my area was completely sold out all the time and regularly being scalped for $2,000. And I understand Understand people would try that anyway, regardless if there was an AMD equivalent, but the lack of an AMD equivalent only adds fuel to the fire. And then on top of that, if you step it down a little bit, you look at the 4080 situation. Yeah, the 7900 XTX goes against the 4080 and it is $200 cheaper, but that's only a benefit to us if the 7900 XTX is actually selling, selling well, it has good reviews, and people want that over the 4080. But instead, I switched to a 4080 after buying a 7900 XTX and reviewing it. I have multiple subscribers who have left comments confirming the exact same thing. They were gonna buy a 7900 XTX, ultimately they went with a 4080 because of the 7900 XTX issues. And lastly, there's inventory issues. There's not really a lot of cards to choose from, and so that is increasing the pricing of the cards that are available. I'm getting comments where people are saying, well, I was gonna to go with AMD, but the cheapest 7900 XTX is only about $25, $50 cheaper than a 4080. I'll happily pay for the 4080 at that point to get the better ray tracing performance. Why not? And so at the end of the day, the 4090 has no competition and the 4080 has no adequate competition. I mean, not, not really. The 7900 XTX is not doing a good job at convincing people to buy that over a 4080 right now. Most people are just saying, I don't want either one of them. They're too expensive. And then for the people who are willing to pay that amount of money, they're saying, oh, I'll, I'll pay a little more to get the better ray tracing. I'll pay a little more to get the better driver support. At the end of the day, AMD is a good company that makes really good products, especially on the CPU side of things. On the GPU side of things, they definitely need some work. And I know there are a lot of people who have AMD GPUs and they love their GPUs and they're completely happy with it. I'm fully expecting those comments down below. I love my GPU, I love my AMD GPU, and that's great, that's awesome. But for every one person who has no issues with an AMD GPU, there are two or three more that do have issues. That is a problem. We need good, healthy competition, adequate competition in the market, and that is the real way that we will get prices to fall. GPU prices should be falling at some point. I think two things are about to happen. The first thing is that the 30 series inventory is slowly but surely being depleted. We are seeing less and less brand new 3080s and 3090s and 3090 Ti options on the market. Most of the 30 series cards now that are brand Brand new to buy, not secondhand, but brand new. They're the lower end 30 series cards like a 3060 and 3060 Ti. And so I do think we are finally starting to phase out the 30 series cards. And secondly, there have been multiple reports now about Nvidia working on a redesign for the 40 series cards that will make the 40 series cards cheaper. You are not losing any type of performance or any type of specifications on the card, Nvidia has found a way to rework the manufacturing process to basically make it more efficient and therefore cheaper. This should be coming down the pipeline. And so I would say if you have held off up until this point and you're leaning toward getting a 40 series card, I would say wait just a little bit longer if you can because I do think price reductions are coming. Again, I don't really know exactly when, but I, I do think they're coming. I think the writing is on the wall. So if you can hold out, 
pulled out. This is me taking information that I've gathered online through independent research and helping share the information with you. If I've missed something, let me know in the comment section down below because I would love to know what other possible reasons there could be why GPU prices are so bad. But I'm hoping things get better sooner rather than later. But that's all I got for this video. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you're new, please get subscribed. I would love to have you. If you like the video, do me a favor, hit that like button because it goes a long way in helping me out. And until next time, E-Rock out.